excited are you to be uh, with the Central Coast Mariners for another season? Yeah, obviously excited. You know, I've been at the club a long time now, um, a lot of seasons, and obviously love the club and, and love the boys and, and love what we've built here. So, um, yeah, very excited. What was it that made you, you know, want to stay on the coast? Uh, this is home for me now. You know, I've um, been here a long time, like I said, um, and everything about this club I love. Um, so I couldn't think of any, any other place I'd rather be. You came back last year and had a strong season then and you've just gone from strength to strength this year. What is it about the coast that you think gets some of your best football out of you? Um, I think it was just, you know, what I'm used to. Obviously, I spent five years here before going away. Um, coming back and, you know, obviously familiar faces like Monty in charge and, and um, you know, uh, obviously playing with him, we have a good relationship. Um, and, you know, just the, the boys, really. That's all I can say. The boys are, are great here and, and we all work hard for each other and play well for each other. And um, I think it's a, it's a very uh, positive culture. On Monty, what's it like working, working under him and how thankful are you for... You know, coming back to you and, and getting um, coached under him. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. You know, I came back here and obviously Monty had had the had the club for a, you know um, in charge for a season um, and uh, done really good things. So I think it was just the perfect fit for me to come in. You know, a more experienced player for a young team and um, um, uh, you know helped out me and, and helped out them as well. So um, yeah, it worked out perfectly. And you are one of the most experienced players in the team now. Have you sort of taken on that? Something that sort of Monty's spoken to you about over the last season? Yeah, definitely. I think that was a that was a big uh, point for him. He wanted me to sort of be become a leader for the boys. And um, you know, although we do have a young team, a lot of good players and and you know young leaders as well. So it really helps out players like me and Vuka and and Jace. You know, sort of the older boys in the team and Brian as well. Um, they help out, us out a lot as well. So um, yeah, it works out good. Is it nice as well, even though we've still got over half the season to go? To to be comfortable and know that you're definitely going to be here for the next season as well. I think so. I think it's uh, you know it's it's a relief for any player in football, any player in sports to um, you know get that security and and know where they're going to be the next year. So um, I think it's a very difficult time for athletes that not a lot of people you know realise coming off contract can be very stressful. So um, for any player to to you know be secured for whether it's a year or two after, um, you know, it really helps out on the mental state and, and helps you play your best football. Yeah, it's a big game. They're a good team. Obviously, it shows where they are on the ladder. They got some, um, they got some really good players in that team, and um, I think it's important for us to keep our run of form going. You know, we've, we've played really well the last five, six weeks. Got a, got a lot of points. So, um, you know, if we want to challenge for that top spot, we need to uh, keep going on and, and get three points tomorrow. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? So, you know, that they've watched you for a, a long time. Yeah, obviously very grateful for all the support I've, I've had here. This will be my, you know, this is my seventh season now, eighth season uh, next season with the club. So, um, you know, they've been a huge support for me and, and I love playing there every week, playing at home every week and, and feeling the support and the love from the fans. So um, every player in the, in the change room feels it and, and we, we thank you.